Intel, the computer inside. Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Let's celebrate today the 35th anniversary of a very special chip in the CPU world. The Intel 8486. Intel announced its second generation 30-bit processor on 10th of April 1989 and the i486 platform had a huge impact on the personal computer industry. Why and with which features? Well, let's have a closer look. Only at the end of 1989 the first 486 based PCs were available. The i486 was the first PC processor to hit the 1 million transistor landmark. It was first produced at a CHMOS technology of 1 micron, as you can see here on the left. And later it was produced at 0.8 micron and also 0.6 micron versions existed. The two silicon chips reflect the visible light differently, which has to do with the manufacturing process technology and the size of the microstructures. Both dyes are however identical from an architectural standpoint. The 486 was a very fast processor and the microstructural units reveal the source of this performance. For instance, it comprises a unified first-level cache for instruction and data in the size of 8 KB. This was unseen before. Previous x86 processors needed a separate floating-point processor. With the 486, the full on-chip FPU integration was implemented. 486 chips without integrated FPU existed too. They were marketed as 486SX processors. Another major improvement was the five-stage pipeline which was bound to a single cycle. Overall the 486 turned out to be twice as fast as the 386 per clock cycle. The first versions were released with 25 MHz and 33 MHz. But also a more rare and unfortunately not so stable version with 50 MHz exists. It also gave quite some headache to VESA local bus systems. The original Intel 486 is from 1989, is also etched onto the silicon here. Only this one micron version contains what looks like a complete list of contributors to the success of the 486 project. It is almost like a micro wall of fame. Awesome, isn't it? The Intel 486 platform introduced a double clocking technology, which laid the foundation for decoupling the FSB speed from the CPU core frequency. The fastest 486 made by Intel ran at 100 MHz with a multiplier of 3. For some reason Intel branded this chip as DX4 and not DX3. Anyone knows why? Oh, one more thing. The 486 is to my knowledge the first and only Intel CPU that has a silicon doodle. In one of the corners you can find a tiny pyramid having roughly the dimension of 140 micron times 70 micron. The pyramid comprises 10 layers of bricks, 50 bricks in total, having individual dimensions of approximately 15 times 7 micron, so really really small. Okay, thanks for watching, please subscribe and please also let me know what is your favorite 486 system.